All right, now that we are done with unit five, we are going to um, start unit six by discussing how we can represent um, straight line in different ways. So what we know so far is that slope is equal to m equal to rise over run or it is also the chains of y over chains of x or using the formula it is just equal to y sub of 2 minus y sub of 1 divided by x sub of 2 minus x sub of 1. We also learned that the slope interest of form is y equals mx plus b where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. Line in standard form will be ax plus by equals c, where a is a positive integer and b and c are both integers. It means that we will not have any fractions at all. Now, it is very important that the coefficient of x, which is our a, is positive. Now here is our first example. Let's say we would like to convert this equation into standard form. So we have here the slope intercept form. So the first thing that we have to do here is to get rid of your denominator, phi. So we can do that by multiplying everything here by phi. Multiply phi by y multiply this by 5, and multiply this um, constant negative 3 here by 5. You will get 5y equals 2x minus 15. Now our goal is to write this into standard form. So I need to subtract both sides by 2x, and I will have here negative 2x plus 5y equals negative 15. Um, since the coefficient of x is negative, um, I need to divide everything by negative 1. So if I'll divide this by negative 1 and divide this by negative 1, you will have negative 2x over negative 1 will give us a positive 2x. Um, and then positive 5y divided by negative 1 is equal to negative 5y equal to negative 15 over negative 1 is equal to positive 15. So this is now the standard form of y equals 2 over 5x minus 15. Now, um, let's say we would like to identify the values of a, b, and c. The best way to do this is to line up the given formula into our equation, and then we can just identify our a, which is the coefficient of x, and then b, which is the coefficient of y, and then c is the number to the right side of the equation. So in this case, my a is equal to 2, my b is equal to negative 5, and c is equal to 15. All right next, I have y equals negative x plus 5. Our goal is to write this into standard form. So I need my x and y to be together. I need to remove my negative x here and move it to the other side of the equation. We can do that by adding x on both sides. So I will have here x plus y equals 5. Now in this case, we are done. Um, we can now just identify our a, b, and c. So my a is equal to 1. Uh, my b is equal to 1. And c is equal to all right, next example, I have here y equals negative 1 half x plus 7. So the first step that we need to do here is to get rid of our denominator. 
so to do that we can use our multiplication property and multiply both sides by 2 and then we distribute our 2 here we'll be able to get 2y uh, here I'll get 2 times negative 1 half x which is 2 times negative 1 half x and then I have 2 times 7 7 times 2 um, this will just be equal to 2y this is equal to now we can cancel this one out I will have here negative 1x or just negative x and that is equal to positive 14 so now once we eliminated our um, denominator we can now just um, remove our negative x here we can do that by adding x both sides so i will have here now x plus 2y equals well this will cancel out and i will have here now 14 on the other side okay so our standard form will now be x plus 2y equals 14. so my a here is equal to 1 my b will be equal to 2 and c will be equal to 14. example number four again i have here a denominator so first we get rid of this denominator by multiplying everything by 3 so i will have 3 times 4 3 times 2 thirds x and 3 times y we will have 3y equals 2x plus 12. again i need to move my 2x so that x and y will be together so we are going to subtract both sides by 2x um, i will have here negative 2x plus 3y equals of course this will cancel out we will have now 12 on the right side now note that the coefficient of my x here is negative so i need to um, divide everything by negative 1 so i will divide both sides by negative 1 divide this by negative 1 i'll be able to get 2x minus 3y equals negative 12 and then we can identify our a b and c my a here will be equal to 2 my b will be equal to negative 3 and c will be equal to negative 12. now let's say we have a graph and we would like to find the equation of this graph now note that in in our instruction we need to write our equation in standard form now the best way to do this is to first write our equation into slope intercept form which is y equals mx plus b okay so our, our plan here is to find the equation write the equation into y equals mx plus b and then after that we apply the previous example um, that we just um, learned and um, convert the slope intercept form into the standard form so let's start with the slope intercept form first we need to um, complete this equation by identifying the value of our y-intercept and our slope now going back to our graph the y-intercept is a point on the y-axis where the graph crosses so this will be our y-intercept okay so the y-intercept here is equal to negative 4 I can now replace my b here okay by negative 4 next we are going to find the slope of this line once we have the slope of this line we can now replace our m here so starting from our um, y-intercept okay we can count 
um, four units up okay so that is actually um, positive four because we went up and then we go to the left um, one two three four times okay count four to the left and that will give us over negative four which is actually equal to negative one now of course you can also say okay from this point you can go up once which is positive one and then you move to the left once and that will be a negative one now when you simplify one by negative one it will also be equal to negative one so no matter what two points you're going to choose here you're going to end up getting the same slope so going back to um, our slope which is negative one we can say then that um, um, the slope here will just be equal to negative one x minus four this is now the slope intercept form of this line next we are going to write this into the standard form so negative 1x can be written as negative x so i'm going to move negative x here um, by adding x on both sides so this will cancel out now x plus y we will have here now x plus y equals negative 4. Now this format over here is already in standard form. We don't have any fractions and then the coefficient of x is positive. Now let's proceed by identifying the values of our a, b, and c. The coefficient here is 1. This one, the coefficient of y is also 1. And my C here is equal to negative 4. So A, A is equal to 1, B is equal to 1, and C is equal to negative 4. Alright, seven example. Let's find the standard form of this line let's start by writing the slope intercept form next we are going to identify the y-intercept the y-intercept is over here so the y-intercept is equal to 2 we can replace our b here by 2 next we need to find our m again there's so many ways on how to get our m here in this case i'm going to count two units down which will be a negative 2 and then from here I will count two units to the left which is a negative 2 so we will have here negative 2 over negative 2 when you simplify this slope you will be able to get a positive x um, of course you can also choose um, let's say a point here and a point here just to find the um, slope um, you can count one unit down that's negative one and count one to the left which is again again negative one which will give us a positive one remember that once you have the y-intercept you can just choose any two points here to get your slope so my slope intercept form is y equals x plus two Next, we are going to write this into the standard form. So we subtract x on both sides. I will get here negative x plus y equals 2. Now note that the coefficient of x here is negative. So I have to divide everything by negative 1. Then we will be able to get x minus y equals negative 2. We can proceed in identifying our a b and c our a will be equal to one my b will be the coefficient of y which is a negative one 
and then my c is the constant here which is equal to negative 2 so c equals negative 2 so this will be the standard form of this given line next example um, note that um, my line here is falling from left to right so once we're done getting the y-intercept expect that the value of our slope should be negative so finding the y-intercept which is over here equal to 1 I can now replace my v here by 1 now for the slope once we have the y-intercept equal to 1 we can now count um, two units up and that will give us uh, a positive 2 in our numerator and then run to the left ones which is equal to a negative 1 so my slope here will be equal to 2 over negative 1 which is equal to negative 2 now let's say from this point you wanted to go down 2 units then your slope your numerator will now be equal to negative 2 from here you will run to the right which is a positive one and note that the slope that you're going to get will still be a negative two so we are going to use this and replace our m by negative two so i will have here y equals negative two x plus one now this is our slope intercept form Let's rewrite this into the standard form. So we need our x and y to be together. So we need to add 2x on both sides. This will cancel out. I will have here 2x plus y equals 1. So this will be our standard form. a is equal to 2, b is equal to positive 1, and c is equal to 1. Example number four, let's find the equation of this line starting with y equals mx plus b. Identify first your y-intercept which is equal to negative 3. Replace your b by your y-intercept. Now let's find the slope. From this point, I can go up three times, so that's 3 over 1 then run to the right okay two times so the slope will be 3 over 2 i will now replace my m here by the slope which is equal to 3 over 2 um, so this will be our slope intercept form our next goal is to write this into the standard form. Um, the standard form should be equal to 3x minus 2y equals 6. Let's try to show the details on how to get this um, standard form. First, we multiply everything by 2 times this by 2 and times this by 2. I will have here 2y and then this will cancel out and I will get here 3x now I have here 2 times a negative 3 so that will be a negative 6 um, we want our x and y to be together so I will subtract 3x on both sides and I will have here now negative 3x plus 2y equals negative 6. But since this one is negative, I need to divide everything by negative 1. Divide this by negative 1, divide this by negative 1, divide this by negative 1. Which will give us positive 3x minus 2y equals 6. Example number 5. Again, start with y equals mx plus b. Identify your y-intercept which is equal to negative 1. Replace 
your B here by negative 1. Now from this point, I'm going to find the change in Y over change in X. So from this point to this point, we will have go up once, positive, and then run to the left one two three times which is equal to negative three so i cannot replace my m here by one over negative three um, of course we can also write the negative here on top if you wish so let's, say, let's just remove the negative here. so next we are going to write this line into the standard form first we multiply everything by 3 multiply this by 3 multiply this by 3 so we get 3 times y um, the 3 here will cancel out we have a negative 1x here you can just write negative 1x as negative x and then here 3 times negative 1 which is negative um, I'm going to add x on both sides, which will give me x plus 3y equals negative. So this will be the standard form of this line. Example number 6. Now the line that is given here is a vertical line. Remember that if we have a vertical or horizontal line, we can use our acronym VUX, H-O-Y. Now, since this one is a vertical line, we are going to use this. Okay, so vertical line, the slope is undefined. The equation will be X equal to the value of X where the line crosses. So here, my equation will be x equal to 5. Okay. So you might be wondering how to write this into the standard form. Now remember, our standard form is a x plus b y equals c. Um, I can write this into this format by saying... Okay, I will have my x here plus 0y equals 5. So my a here will be equal to 1, my b will be equal to 0, and my c will be equal to 5. So the standard form is x plus 0y equals 5, or simply equal to x equals 5. We just need to rewrite x equals 5 into this format if we are tasked to identify the values of a, b, and c. Sometimes it's better for us to spell it out so that we will not mess up identifying the a, b, and c values. Next, I have here a horizontal line. Now remember, if we have a horizontal line, we are going to use H O Y. Horizontal line, the slope is 0. Equation will be Y equal to the Y intercept. In this case, my Y intercept is 1, 2, 3, 4. That's a negative 4. How do you write this into the standard form? We can say, um, remember, the standard form is AX plus by equals c. Um, we can say that the coefficient of x will be 0. Mm, I will have plus y equals negative 4. In this case, my a will be equal to 0. b, which is the coefficient of y, and then c will be the constant on the right side of the equation. So this will be our standard form, or simply written as y equals negative 4. Again, we just need to write our line into this format 
if we would like to identify our A, B, and C term, you are going to solve the rest of the questions. So take your time and you're free to go back to the video if in case you needed more time to um, review the examples that were discussed. Alright, have fun!